With all the pomp and ceremony afforded to a historic agreement, President Donald Trump stood before dozens of dignitaries on the White House balcony, presiding over a diplomatic pact that changes the landscape of the Middle East. These agreements prove that the nations of the region are breaking free from the failed approaches of the past. Today's signing sets history on a new course. A new course that normalizes relations between Israel and two Gulf Arab nations for the first time, united in their common opposition to Iran and potentially paving the way for others. Because this peace will eventually expand to include other Arab states, and ultimately, it can end the Arab-Israeli conflict once and for all. And although the agreement does little to address a decades-long Israeli-Palestinian conflict, the Arab states were eager to show they hadn't forgotten the Palestinian cause. And it is now incumbent on us to work urgently and actively to bring about the lasting peace and security our peoples deserve a just, comprehensive, and enduring two-state solution to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict will be the foundation, the bedrock of such peace. Protesters outside the White House weren't convinced. Whatever they're doing in there is all about their pockets. It's about wealth, it's about oil, it's about money. The Black Day, today is the Black Day. It's like someone died. But for Trump, this is a victory. A win for his evangelical Christian base, who see Israel as a promised land. And an opportunity, seven weeks before the U.S. elections, to be seen as a Middle East peacemaker and the ultimate deal-maker. Leonie Lakani, TRT World, Washington.